Hey y'all, Carolina Tony here today. The road brings me to Lexington, North Carolina, and I am here with Todd Fincher. Right, yeah, yeah. I always get his name wrong when I say it. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, uh, Tony Curtis. No, I see <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Lexington, North Carolina is the barbecue capital, and people that live here will tell you the barbecue, barbecue capital of the world. But yeah. for sure it's barbecue capital of the Piedmont. And why no, because right behind me is where it all started. This is the Barbecue Hall of Fame. And we're gonna go inside in a few minutes. And there is a place that was uncovered when they were doing remodeling, archeological yeah, dig. dig. And so, they found the original yeah. Lexington Barbecue. We're gonna go discover that, discover a little bit about the history of barbecue and everything you always wanted to know but were afraid to ask. That, that, right. Yeah. Hot, cold, spicy, whatever you want. But, 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 but. right after the station identification. The Lexington City Hall and the barbecue wall of fame commemorating the site of the first known business selling Lexington style barbecue prepared under tents on open pits. Sid Weaver in the year of 1919 during the days that they had court in downtown Lexington, Sid would bring a tent and set up and dig a pit in the ground and cook barbecue and sell barbecue to all the people that had to go to court. And I guess if you were went to court you were going to jail, hey, a barbecue sandwich before you have to go, I don't know. But nonetheless, this is where history was made. All right, we are in the Lexington City Hall. This is the site of the as they know, one of the first barbecue places here in Lexington was Beck's Barbecue. When they remodeled the city hall, they were tearing walls down and doing some remodeling. And, and after they tore a wall down, they found this brick wall with the smoke embedded into the brick. And lo and behold, they uncovered history And this is where they would put the coals up under the fire. And here's one that's kind of what it looks like. The fire would be down there, the coals would, and you put that meat in there and smoke that baby. But prior to that, this is what it looked like. They cooked the barbecue in open pits. During court days, Back in the day, the very first barbecue was set up under a tent. And when they had court at the town, at the uh, courthouse here in Lexington, this man would come and set up a tent and start cooking barbecue and sell barbecue to all the lawyers and judges and all the people that were going to court. Well, this is the firebox. Actually, how this process would work, they would burn the hickory wood right on the grate. And of course, the coals would fall down below. And he would take a shovel and transfer those hot burning coals over to here. And the meat would be up on the top and the fat and the juices would run down on top of the coals and create that smoke and the smoke would come up through the meat, and man, that's what it's all about. And this, this photograph of this restaurant, the Barbecue Center, is right down the street. It is, I think, one of the oldest in town, isn't it? After COVID, the first one they had in a few years, and uh, is that coming up soon? We are still in the city hall, and here are some barbecue posters from days gone by. This looks like an old one here, 
but it's not. It's the 35th anniversary. And there's the 34th, the 33rd, and it goes on. <laughs> We'll switch over. Here's 1984. Kind of simple back then. Well, here is the visitor center. Oh, we got to go in. Let's see if we can go check this place out. So these are open. little model this is so cool got those shoulders laying on that open pit with all those picnic tables ready for eating and I swear back in the back that looks like Mo from the Three Stooges look at this pig and does this pig look familiar to you thank you thank you very much well this pig is here along with 21 others, but this particular pig is unique to himself because he kind of looks like the king. No one may. Why? Because Elvis performed right here in Lexington, North Carolina. And now you know the rest of the story. The Conrad and Hinkle food market, old style, grocery store are closed but one of the things that is famous about them is their special permitted cheese that they make right here and they disperse it to other businesses nearby and of course they had their own pig also look inside this store that is so cool it's like Stepping back in time. Lexington has been the barbecue capital. And there are a few other things here that's important just as well, such as the candy factory. We're all going we are going to go across the street and let's see what's inside. We are in front of the candy kitchen and of course they have a pig as well. This pig is Miff. This pig is Miss Puffy. Since 1890. I know how to stay out of his, but I don't know if I got two. Oh no, you're fine. I'd rather do that. Now this is this is really retro here. The old screen door with Marita Bread on it. Hey. And oh wow. All this candy. This is a very old candy dispenser. There's a pig right in front of the Lexington souvenir shop. The old Davidson County Courthouse was completed in 1858. The interior was burned in 1865 and rebuilt in 1867. And this is what they call classic revival style. 
and we are going to go inside because I believe they have something pertaining to barbecue but we're going to find out okay we are looking for things that particularly pertain to barbecue here in Lexington in the museum well this is pretty cool photographs Laura LaPlante the midnight sun in front of the old theater look at the crowd waiting to see a movie so this is must this is what it must have been like back in the early 1900s going to the movies sitting in hard chairs watching a black and white movie you would think it would have been in color but that was to come later and this is one of the things that in the movie theaters that that you just had to put up with was 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 this <laughs> so i will ask you were you guilty or not guilty well i say it was just like this i had nothing to do with it i wasn't there in fact i wasn't even born yet gentlemen of the jury you have listened to the testimony of Mr. Carolina Tony. Now you must go and deliberate and decide whether he is innocent or guilty. We have traveled a few blocks over from the downtown area to the Lexington Barbecue Number One. And here is the Lexington Barbecue. We are going to uh, look in the window at this barbecue pit. You can see that smoke coming out of those smokestacks. This hickory wood. We are in the kitchen of Lexington Barbecue. And this is pretty cool. This is this is shot in the box. Okay. So <clears throat> this is where you put the hickory hickory wood. Throw it in from the back. Throw it in from outside, yeah. Let it burn down. Uh-huh. And we get our coals. Yeah. Him, so then you put that in the up yeah. under up under the smoker. Up under there. Yeah. And, uh... So we'll open it up. Oh yeah. So all of those are hams. Shoulders. 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 Okay. All shoulders. Right. We're doing, we're doing 68 today. Normally, 68 shoulders? Normally that's how many we do every day. 68. Uh, now that's 68, 68 shoulders. How much barbecue by the pound would that produce? We usually use about 65, 7,000 pounds a week. 65 to 7,000? 7,000 pounds a wow, week. Wow, that's a lot of cube. This is side to side and all uh -huh. the way back. It's yep. three rows deep. And you just okay. you just put cardboard over the top of it, hold the smoke in. Yeah, well, hold the smoke in, plus it yeah. keeps the ashes and stuff off. Uh -huh. it keeps it clean. Right. And on that side. Right. We start at six o'clock. So you barbecue. Yeah. So so you just you, you salt and pepper it. Just salt. That's salt. Just a little salt. Uh huh. And then we'll uh, we'll get it good and brown on that front side. Then we'll flip it on the skin side. Yeah. And we'll cook both sides. Usually about four and a half hours on both sides. Uh -huh. Then we flip it back over uh -huh. about four o'clock. And what we do when we flip it back over, it starts letting that grease uh -huh. drain back through the middle. Right. 
That's what we call draining. And so you do so, about uh, you do about four hours on each side. Yeah, about four hours. And, and then flip it up, and then flip it over, and let the grease drain down through the meat. And then it drains down through the meat. Yeah. Get a little more sure. There are pigs, literally everywhere. This is one of Lexington's oldest still operating barbecue places. The Barbecue Center. And smoke is coming out of the top of that. And if only you could smell what I smell. But it's lunchtime and we are going to go inside as soon as this truck goes by. You smell that, Tony? I do. We're going to. We're gonna go inside and uh, check some of this barbecue out. It's a little past one o'clock and this place is still full. Some awesome barbecue. All right, here's what I have ordered. I've got coarse chopped barbecue, fries and slaw, and Miss Debbie has got a barbecue sandwich. Barbecue pork. Here's uh, something I share with you. It's good, by the way. Barbecue. A lot of folks are under the impression that when they go to a barbecue, there could be hot dogs and hamburgers and chicken. Wrong. Barbecue. Only one way in South and North Carolina. Pork. Everything else is just an illusion. Now, if you go to Texas, barbecue, of course, is beef. If you go to California, barbecue is probably weenies and hamburgers but here in the Carolinas barbecue is pork Denton, <laughs> <laughs> and if you go to Denton it's possum <laughs> we are winding our way through the kitchen all this stuff is getting real Here we go. This is these coals. Oh yeah. And up under that tin, this is where it's at. Those are pork shoulders. Now pork shoulders, that's that's what makes the Lexington barbecue. Absolutely. Yeah. That real wood. So now how many hours? Uh, these have been on since five o'clock. So these have been on since five o'clock and how much more do you have to go? Look yeah, at that. Little hot. Look at that. Thank All right. You. Oh yeah. Now you do not drizzle the sauce on it until after you finish. Correct. All that's on there is a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. So this is not like competition barbecue. No. We where don't you barbecue. take and you rub all kind of fancy stuff on it. No, we don't worry about barbecue. No. But the thing about it, it's all in the meat. Mm -hmm. See the shoulder has the fat on here. Right. That's why we're able to cook it long and slow. Hams mm -hmm. don't have this much fat. Right. So that it keeps it moist. Yeah. Well, one of the things I've often said in my videos when it comes to barbecue, if your meat's any good, you don't need sauce. That's true. And barbecue is, that is barbecue. Barbecue is not hamburgers or hot dogs. I, I, barbecue a, is pig meat. It's a noun, not a burger. <laughs> of course, the coals will come out of there. These are basically. Go up underneath. Yeah. These are basically. And they've got three, three separate yeah. cookers. Well, we have come to the end of the road, Todd. Yes, we have, unfortunately. We have filled up on good old barbecue and Barbecue Center here in Lexington, North Carolina. Yep. Want to thank. Well, good. Thank those guys. Thank you for, to those guys for letting us in and not yeah. running over. Not running over. Run over. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. What was the guy's name? Cecil. Thanks to Cecil for showing us the kitchen and the barbecue pit. That was pretty cool. A lot of neat history here. A lot of barbecue. history here. This is one of the oldest ones, and I yep. I understand there are over 20 barbecue places in the area. There are over 12 right here in town. 
I wonder if each of those pigs represent one of the barbecue places. Because there's just as many pigs. The statues of the pigs oh. at, at the barbecue could be. restaurant. Could be, yeah. could be. Any, any way it was good. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to tell your family and friends. Also, go check out Todd's channel at Todd Venture. Oh yeah. yeah, come on over and hang out with me. Go show him some love. Anyway, for now, again, again, I want to thank you. See what the bark you've done to him? <laughs> Made him forget everything. <laughs> again, thank you for watching. Be sure to share with your family and friends, but until next time, y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.